the Red Victorian has an interesting role that it plays in San Francisco in that it's a large physical space that is entirely community run. We're experimenting um, in ways to, to bring in the greater community. Um, so we have community members and our neighborhood members who are part of the space. Um, and people who come and co-work with us during the daytime. We have a combination of long-term residents, uh, short and medium-term guests who come through and stay with us, and we also have a commercial space on the ground floor. So we have a lot of different spaces and ways of engaging with the space um, that we need to make decisions about. We've been using Lumio for probably, a, I guess, maybe about two years now. The really big difference is, is just being able to kind of distribute the decision making over space and time. So people don't have to um, say, come to like a weekly meeting where everything is all decided in that one space. And that just makes our communities more accessible for people with very different lifestyles and schedules. And that's really, that's like a value we hold really deeply. So it's, it's important. I'm certainly very familiar with like polling softwares and wikis and um, nothing, nothing sort of was both as simple and also had this additional way to guide us towards taking a discussion that seemed to be converging into a clear um, decision that was made by the community. With the new residents, we can point them back to that, that whole log of, of Lumios that we've done. We all have a unique perspective of, of what's going on here and, and how we think it works. And so you'll probably get a slightly different answer from everyone you ask, but the really interesting thing is that we've been able to to make all these decisions together and like sort of come up with a voice that that we all want want to speak as as a collective and as a community. Um, so I think then they get to kind of look at all of that like pretty objectively and, and kind of get to like decipher all the different pieces of that rather than just getting you know, one person saying, well, this is how we do that, and this is why, you know, it, it's a bit more complex than that, and I think that it really, like, speaks to that complexity, that it documents, like, every voice and every thought that goes into a decision. A decision that I really enjoyed seeing the process of kind of coming to uh, convergence around was a discussion that we were having around uh, long-term residents who might want to make their room available on the guest list when they're traveling. That was a topic that we, everyone had different perspectives on coming into it um so whether it was a resident who was say like struggling with with income and wanting to find a way to make ends meet um or someone who was thinking more about the business side of things well what does that look like from a hotel's perspective through that conversation we were able to surface the kind of tensions and interests of people that had not been obvious at the beginning so it started off as this more um adversarial conversation where there was a lot of energy or I think there was, you know, concerns and fears on both sides. Um, and I felt like that was a particular time when the space for people to reflect and to um, kind of write down their thoughts really was able to surface um, the, the things that were really important for them. We ended up deciding on a 50-50 split between the long-term uh, residents who are making their room available and the community itself. Um, and that was really nice because it means that we sort of all have similar incentives and if we want to make it you know, more affordable, we can and we all kind of share the burden of that and we also share some of the returns. A lot of the time Lumio will lead us to have an in-person conversation that we wouldn't have had otherwise. I mean, people will see that there is a tension happening in a conversation online and they'll go up and approach the person and kind of do the one-on-one -on -one thing. Um, and then both of those people end up representing each other's perspectives in the online space. And so it's really a dynamic exchange between the two. We kind of progressed from having all of our conversations and decisions like in person in these meetings that could last for hours at a time um, to being able to um, sort of like decipher between like what should be an in-person conversation, what we can text each other about, and what can be like brought to Lumio discussion. It feels nice to, to have that like stability and clarity of like this is how I feel about something and I might change my mind and let's all talk about it and like work it out. Investing in making decisions collaboratively has so many benefits. <laughs> um, I mean, I think that the space that we create is more efficient and effective. Uh, it's more fun. We end up uh, spending our resources, whether it's time or money, more wisely when people are consulted on the decisions that we're making. Um, it also means that 
the burden of taking action is not just left to one or two people, but it's actually distributed amongst the community. 